Hey guys, and welcome to my, I guess, kind of Christmas P.O. Box opening friend mail uh, video. Some of these packages are from uh, a couple months ago, and I, I got a couple of them, but kind of not. I feel like I try to wait until I have a few items to do these videos, um, and then I've gotten a few uh, in recent weeks. Um, so I did definitely want to kind of sit down and open them before I went on break, basically. And this is kind of a fun video, a slightly more relaxing video for me. Um, and to film and, and all of that, I am getting obviously close to the end of, you know, uh, all of this. And, um, I, you know, I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired. So I've actually been saving this video to be one of, one of the last things that I film uh, before I go on break um, as kind of a, a little treat to myself, I guess. Um, yeah, if I'm looking rough, I don't actually think I'm looking that bad, which is great. But if I'm looking rough at all, it is because his Dark Materials, the finale, made me, like, cry a river. So, which is not really uh, that odd for me uh, in <laughs> with a lot of the shows that I watch, but just explaining if it looks like I've been crying, it's because I have. So, you know, anyway. Um, all right, I don't even know where to start. I have like packages on either side of me. Um, okay, let's begin. So starting with this package right here, um, I'm just going to see what it is. And just so you guys know, I don't always read letters out loud because sometimes they're a little more personal and, you know, I don't want to put anybody on blast or anything like that. Um, <laughs> I was uh, laughing at the Lord Asriel remark. <laughs> so, you know... So far, this letter um, is kind of talking about how um, this person found my videos and that there's like so many um, kind of similarities of what we watch and everything like that. Um, and I love reading stuff like that. I love reading kind of um, how you guys have stumbled upon my videos and um, like what was the show that got you into them and, and everything and um, kind of started uh, for for this person started with Witcher and went to Stranger Things and there's just a bunch of, of different shows. Um, so they end the note. Um, very sweet note. Thank you very much. Um, as a very small thank you, I've sent a TV show dear to my heart. It may take a couple of episodes to get into. It may not even be your cup of tea but I hope you enjoy it. Each episode is only about a half an hour long and 99% of the time, there are just two characters sharing a ride to and from work talking about life. No monsters or drama, just two people. Um, sounds boring, I know, but it has a lot of heart. Sometimes hits very close to home. Um, hopefully it will give you a little taste of our Northern humor. There are a lot of British references, but I think the core is universal. <laughs> Um, I'm 99% sure the Blu-ray won't play on your device. It's region B, so I have put them on a flash drive as, um, MKV files. Oh, that's really sweet. Including the finale, not on the discs. Um, you may have to download. Okay. Giving me instructions. Thank you. Um, I've also put a couple other shows of varying re uh, resolution that you may have missed. Um, you are under no ob obligation to react to them. I just want you to hopefully enjoy them for yourselves, for yourself. Um, oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so, so much. Um, this was from Phil and let's see what the show is. It is called Peter K's Car Share. What a hoot. It says, what a hoot right there. <laughs> um, when a supermarket 
issues a new car share scheme, assistant manager John Redmond, Peter K, and promotions rep Kaylee Kitson um, are thrown together, forcing their paths to cross as they journey to work every day. But will they get along? Oh, this, honestly, this sounds like something that I feel like I can watch with like dinner every night or whatever. I, maybe not, I don't know. But I will, I'll have to see how it'll, how, what kind of vibe the show is. But I feel like I kind of have a little bit, um, like more lighthearted, um, but also, I don't know, like a lot of heart, a lot of, um, an exceptionally funny series that never fails to make you happy. Uh, yeah, I feel like that's kind of the vibe that I, I try to, because, you know, guys, a lot of times I will, you know, I'll film stuff and, and you guys request for me to watch a lot of things that, that make me cry. And then I will, you know, um, cry while I watch it. And then I, if it's really that bad, I'll, I'll cry when I edit it cry when I upload it and try to pick the thumbnail. Like, it's just, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot of crying. And sometimes I just like to put on a little, more, like, feel-good stuff um, while I have dinner and stuff like that. So thank you so, so much, Phil. I am definitely going to check this out. Okay, so I have this next package right here. And let's see what is inside. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, holy, I can't, this is the first thing that I see. I can't tell if there's a note somewhere. So if I see, oh, I see a note. Okay. We're gonna, I kind of can see what this is, but there's a little note. Um, dear Seska, it seems a long time. I've waited to finally get this parcel sent. Um, the pre-order took an age. Um, COVID-19 hasn't helped. Yeah, I bet. I know just from how much you love Doctor Who. So as you can see, I've included some Doctor Who stuff along with some other gifts I hope you like. I adore your reactions and have followed you a long time and now can't believe the time you get this. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. will be over. Yeah, this was probably sent a little bit ago. Oh, loving Supernatural, by the way. Anyway, I find you so lovely and I know you have had personal issues this year. So I wanted to send something to show we care and we are here for you, and I hope you like everything. Much love, Ian. Thank you so much, Ian. Um, okay, so I saw this. Let me uh, put, the, put the box down for a moment. Okay, so I saw this. Oh my goodness, this is a giant um, of the Funko Pops, but it is the TARDIS. Is that not crazy? Oh my God. It's like a lot bigger than the, um, I don't know, like the figurines, which I guess makes sense, but that's really, really, really cool. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's so awesome. I don't know. <laughs> I have to find a, a place. I do have a bunch of, um, like Funko Pop figurines, like characters and stuff. But I don't know, the TARDIS may have to go somewhere else. I don't know, maybe I'll keep it with them. I don't know, I'm gonna have to see how that goes. Thank you so, so much. Okay, there is a little box in here. Let's see what it is. Oh my goodness, these are little TARDIS salt and pepper shakers. You see that? Yup. Oh, so cute so so cute oh my goodness look at them look at them they're so so cute oh my god i love them thank you so now i see another funko pop but i don't know who it shut up oh my goodness it's dog <laughs> it's dog oh my goodness I didn't know that dog had his own Funko Pop. That is so amazing. Oh my God, that is adorable. Oh my goodness, look how cute dog is. It's so cute. I really had no idea they made a dog. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's amazing. Thank you, that is perfect, thank you. 
Okay, and now we have little chocolates, I think. These are Aero Bliss. We have salted caramel, milk chocolate, and hazelnut praline. Woo! Oh my God, open up, sit back, and share a bubbly moment. Pop open the lid and enjoy. Okay, well, I'll try one. Pick one up. The brown, what's the brown one? The milk chocolate? Probably the milk chocolate. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, these are really cute. I don't think we have these here. But sometimes I've misspoke before of what I think that America has and doesn't have. Let's see. Mmm. That's really good. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Okay, there's a couple other things in here. Ah! What is... Oh my god. This is so cute. This says, zombies eat brains. You are safe. Oh my god. I think this is... You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Is that iZombie? Maybe. I don't know. And it's a notebook. You guys know how I feel about notebooks. I love them. I fill them up. I use them for so many notes like throughout the year. And it's like one of my favorite things to get. Thank you so much. That's really kind. I'll have to think of what to use this one for. Okay, and... <gasps> no way! Another notebook. But, ah! Is that not the cutest thing? Oh my goodness! Another thing I'm gonna have to um, figure out what to write in it. Oh my god, you guys know how I feel about notebooks. I'm so excited about this. Thank you. Thank you, Ian, so, so much. These are all amazing gifts. Okay, there is a little card. It's got little stickers on the back. And there's, there's little monkeys stickers. I don't know if you could see those, but there's little monkey stickers. Oh, it's a cute little card. Oh. Wow, that was really sweet. I don't want to go too much into it because it, I think it's a bit personal, but um, that was a very, very sweet card um, to write. I really appreciate that so much. Thank you. And there's a little um, paper inside. Oh, well, thank you for sending this. Um, it, it was just the finishing bit of the card. Um, uh, they d talked about um, loving my Doctor Who reactions and getting them through tough times, which I'm, I won't go into. Um, and um, just uh, be very encouraging and... Um, uh, they say we may not know each other, but I can tell from your videos that you're a kind, warm, and amazing person. Um, so don't ever doubt yourself. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's, that's so sweet. Um, this is from Melissa. Um, at least, yes. Um, <laughs> so thank you so much. Um, and the rest of it says, um, I just wanted to say how excited I am that you have started reacting to Supernatural. Um, it's an amazing show. You're in for a wild ride and a real treat. Thank you. Um, also, I know you are a big Buffy and Angel fan, so I was wondering if you ever watched the show that David Boreanaz was on right after Angel ended Bones. Anyway, I shall leave this here. Take um, care and be well. Thank you so, so much for the card. That's really, really sweet. Um, yes. I Well, I've seen some of it. My parents were really big fans of that show so um and there was a period of time where I was kind of living in and out I feel like it was airing while I was in college so like when I was 
home from college on breaks and stuff like it was on like around like I didn't like fully watch the whole thing or whatever but I know a bit like a little bit I would catch it here and there so yeah I saw like little bits and pieces um to it um but I haven't seen the full thing no um but thank you so much for the card that was a very very sweet message okay moving on to the next package okay there is a note I always love when I can find the note right away you know Oh, this is adorable. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll read this. Okay, it says, Hello, my name is Beast and I am a beagle. I follow you on Instagram and my human subscribes to your YouTube channel. We are both really big fans. That's adorable. Um, he wanted me to send you this box of goodies as a thank you for giving a chance to one of his all-time favorite shows, Doctor Who. He has been a hooligan. That's funny. Since growing up with it uh, on PBS in the 80s, he refuses to use the term Whovian since it's not clever at all and it <laughs> makes it sound like he's into horses. Um, he has nothing against horses. He's just not a Whovian. <laughs> um, thank you again for helping to spotlight a hidden gem like Who that has something for everyone and features the kind of heroes we need right now more than ever. I hope you enjoy this small token of gratitude. Okay, um, so let's open. There's kind of numbers with each thing. So this is number one, um, and it says that this is Blood of the Daleks. Oh, wow. Okay, there's two um, right here. So we have Blood of the Daleks right here, and then we have Blood of the Daleks part two, and that is Haley Atwell, who we know and love. Um, and this is an eighth Doctor story. People of Red Rocket Rising, my fellow citizens, our long night is over. I've been contacted by a benevolent people. They too have known great trials and they have overcome them and made it their mission to help others do the same. They have offered us refuge and passage to the nearest human worlds. They have the resources, the patience and compassion to evacuate every one of us. My fellow citizens, my friends, rescue is at hand. Well, that is really, really exciting. Obviously, guys, you, um, you guys have seen me do a big finish review at this point. I definitely want to get more into that. I have to kind of maybe come up with a good system on how to do it and everything like that because, you know, it, I loved the video and the response was so great and all I want to do is like kind of dive more into Big Finish. But it was kind of a lot of work to put it all together and everything like that. So I think I just need to like, you know, hammer down a really good system for that stuff. So, um, okay. So the second one is Red, White, and Who, the story of Doctor Who in America. That's cool. Let's see. Oh, wow. Let's see. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at that cover. It's got the Statue of Liberty right there. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, every American Doctor Who fan has a story to tell, and fans of the iconic British television show love to tell stories. All of them, from the casual to the obsessed, will happily regal others with the tale of how and when they discovered the greatest science fiction media franchise ever. Most early American fans first met the Doctor in the early 1980s, uh, nearly 20 years after the show began in 1963. But the story of Doctor Who in America, a complex and fascinating journey into pop culture, stretches much further back. I actually find that this is pretty interesting <laughs> to me. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm American, but like I, f I find it really interesting to see like when people really got into the show and how it kind of like moved over um and you know how much of it was like new who versus classic who versus you know what you know whatever it is so that's actually that I, I actually find this really really interesting thank you 
I didn't know this existed, so thank you so much. Let's find number three right here. It wouldn't be a good Doctor Who goodie box without a bag of jelly babies. Super cute. We see that. Um, I have had these ones before and I actually really liked them. Um, I was kind of hoping I would get them sent to me again because I'm not one to really be, you know, like go and buy candy, but um, I forget which ones. I think the lemons were my favorite, which is kind of boring, I know. Like, a lot of people think, like, if you like, I don't know, I don't know. They, there's always that joke that, like, you always want to be a pink starburst. You guys ever see that? Maybe not. Maybe you guys haven't seen that meme, but they always say that. Like, I like the yellow ones better. <laughs> um, so thank you so much. I will have to have a few of those later. Um, and number four, right here, to get psyched up for the next season of Mandalorian coming soon. Okay. So it's always, you know, I always feel called out by these letters. <laughs> Here's a baby Yoda you can take with you anywhere. Is it this one? Yes. Oh, stop it. This is, oh my God, this is pure joy. Look at it. It's, it's baby Yoda sipping, sipping his, it was soup, right? I think it was soup. I like, I know people like to think that it's tea, but I'm pretty sure it was soup or a broth of some kind. Yeah. Oh my God. I adore this. This is so cute. Thank you so, so much. I'm, I'm going to bring this whenever I have a drive to, oh my God. I am so, so excited. Thank you. Uh, thank you again for your sincere reactions and all of the time and effort put in behind the scenes that make it look so easy. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Take care and stay safe. Beast. Oh, oh, thank you so, so much. So there's a, a PS right here. Oh, goodness. I, I. I won't show this, but this was the holiday card with the the beagle. Super cute. So cute. I mean, it says you can check out Beaster Who playlist on my YouTube channel. So if you want to check out Beast the Beagle, go do so. We love a good beagle. We love a beagle. Oh, so cute. Thank you so, so much for all of this. That was also very thoughtful and amazing. Um, thank you, thank you to, to um, Beast and his human. Thank you. Okay, next package right here. Okay, I put the box down there. Um, there are two little, not little, but um, packages in the box. So let's open up. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is beautiful. Guys, is it a notebook? Oh my God. Oh, I'm doing well with the notebooks today. Look at this. Look at them. Look at them. The Haunting of Bly Manor 2020, genre, drama, horror, mystery, Mike Flanagan. And then it has the, the cast right there. Um, and you guys, if you guys watch my Haunting of Bly Manor reactions, I'm not going to spoil anything if you haven't or whatever, but these were my two favorite characters. I adored them. I loved them. I thought that they were so well written and just impeccable human beings. Um, that I aspire to be like. I genuinely really, really loved them. This is, thank you. I love having something tangible to like remember. Maybe some of the shows that like I don't get a, a ton of gifts for. I get a bunch of like Doctor Who, Walking Dead and, and stuff like that. But this is, this is uh, really great. Thank you. Um, and I, oh my God. 
I love it. I'm gonna have to find something good. Maybe Halloween something. I don't know. I'll put in here maybe thoughts on horror movies or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you. And we have another. Oh my god. Let's see. Oh wow. Look at that. That's Lannister, baby. Lannister, baby. You guys know that I'm House Lannister all the way, but you know, um, it's not a common opinion, I know, but like, whatever. So, um, and I believe that this is, uh, yeah, this is uh, the lyrics to the Reigns of Castamere. <laughs> wow. Oh, goodness. And who? are you that's great so um i love a good lannister lannister themed gift thank you so so much these are just perfect i love them oh my goodness I, i'm gonna really have to think about what i can um put in these notebooks I love notebooks so much. I go through them pretty quick too, so thank you very, very much. Oh, this is, these are great, thank you. Um, so there's another gift in here. And so far it hasn't said who it's from. However, I have, I think I might, no, I might be wrong, um, but I did get a message from, um, did you hear that? Somebody's playing Rihanna really loud. <laughs> Driving by. This video is going to get claimed. Um, I did get a message from um, one of my longtime subscribers um, and friend um, that he was sending something. So this might be the one from him, but he, he said that there was no way to kind of say that it was from him. So this this might be the thing that was from him. I will I'll double check. It looks like mugs in a box like this. Um, I think it looks like mugs. <gasps> oh my god! Yes, May! It says the cavalry. Get out of here! And it's May. You guys know how I feel about May. She's my favorite in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh my god, so perfect. Thank you. Oh, thank you so, so much. Oh, oh, I love that. All right, and there's another mug right here. Oh, wow! Oh my god, where do you find these? Um, well, obviously, um, Redbubble, because that's what it says, but oh my goodness. Oh, I can wear my unpopular opinion so proudly. Oh my goodness, Team Shirley. Team Shirley. Get out of here. So this is um, The Haunting of Hill House. Um, and again, I won't say any spoilers, but it, there, there's a few characters in, in The Haunting of Hill House. And I really gravitated towards the character that pretty much everybody else hated. <laughs> it kind of worked for my benefit. That, I mean, I feel like it, like a lot of people actually really liked my reactions because they were like a little bit different and whatever. And I loved Shirley. She, I related a lot to this girl, man. So amazing. Thank you so, so much. Oh my goodness. I, I just, yeah. So if you are, um, said uh subscriber um that sent these uh please please just uh drop me a note let me know um so i can kind of thank you um as well but these were all just wonderful gifts thank you so much okay next one okay note hi jess hope you are well depending on what time of year it is please consider this box as early-ish Christmas presents or very late birthday presents. 
Um, I'm sorry I missed sending you a message on the day itself. I also have to apologize for the amount of bubble wrap in this box. Okay, so there are five things in the box. So I shall see what's here. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, boy. Let me see what it says the first thing is. Okay. <laughs> I saw two things um, right away. So we have a canine light and sound figurine, an illustrated book. So cute. Oh my God. What noise does it make? Can I open this? I mean, I assume I could probably open this. It might require batteries though. So maybe I, maybe it won't make sounds, but look at this little canine. Oh my goodness. He's so cute. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to add batteries, but oh, that's so cute. Thank you. And then on the other end of the spectrum, well, maybe not the other end of the spectrum, but like in regards to like good and evil, I guess. We have a Cyberman. You guys know I love Cybermen. Oh, look at the, oh, it's so cute. It's weird to say that a Cyberman's cute, but it's cute. Look at that. Look at him. Oh, so cute. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. There is a big finish audio. It is called um, The Black Hole, Fraser Hines and Deborah. I actually don't know how to say her last name. Watling? What? What? Maybe? Um, right here. And it says, on a research station near a black hole, time keeps standing still. Investigating the phenomenon, the doctor, Jamie, and Victoria discover a power far greater than any of the monsters that have challenged them on their travels. The doctor's own people. Oh. Oh, interesting. Torn between saving thousands of lives and the need to flee, um, and with a policeman from his home planet working at his side, the doctor reluc reluctantly finds himself involved in a race against time. But nothing is ever as simple as it appears, and if you can use the doctor's compassion against him, you have the makings of a perfect trap. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. This is very interesting. Because, hmm, I wonder how that all kind of ends up. Because, obviously... I, you wouldn't think that he would encounter his own people before the war games. So I find that very, very interesting. Okay, let's go with, oh, it says spoilers here. This is The Third Doctor's Adventures, Volume 4. Please don't unwrap until you A, have listened to the Black Hole, or B, finished the first story of season 10 of Doctor Who. Okay, that's not yet, yeah, right? Yeah. Think of it as a... Um... <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, okay, I love when you guys do this. I'm not even gonna lie. So spoilers, don't unwrap until a specific point. I have a couple. They're literally on the, in, like, in a, uh, the little, um shelf in the corner of my room of things that I have like don't unwrap until they're mostly Doctor Who related and I just like you know and when I get to that point I shall unwrap those those things so thank you for that warning but thank you that's awesome okay um okay and then the last bit oh wow Oh, oh my goodness. So this is um, Patrick Troughton, Troughton um, special anniversary edition, the biography, um, as written by his son, Michael Troughton. Wow. Respected and loved, Patrick Troughton is probably the best remembered 
as the second Doctor Who. It's, it's funny when they say it like that, because I would always say second Doctor. A role in which he made television history. A prolific actor, he was also a complex and troubled man, constantly rush, wrestling with his two lives, one of which he was de determined to keep secret. Oh my goodness, I mean, wow. Um, suck me in already. Oh, there's a, there's a lot of like pictures and stuff and oh awesome I could really get to know um more about the actor which i find to be really cool thank you so so much listen i have a break and i plan on um i <laughs> i feel like i'm gonna take um some books that i get have gotten um I want to go to the beach and I know that it's like not weather for the beach but I kind of want to like bundle up and and go to the beach and read some books on my break I feel like that just sounds kind of relaxing and, and nice so thank you so much I am really interested to get into this um thank you okay next up I have a smaller package right here let's see what it is it looks kind of cd shaped but maybe I'm wrong on that. Is there, there is a note, I think. Yes, perfect. Hi Jess, hopefully this made it to you in time for Christmas, but if not, have a happy whatever the time of the year is. Thank you. Um, I wanted to send you a little something to say thanks for a great content you have created for the past few years. I look forward to seeing your Doctor Who reactions every week and your videos have really helped me get through some difficult times. Um, your positive nature helped in restoring my enjoyment of the show and made me reevaluate my thoughts on Torchwood. Oh, interesting. Interesting. All the best, Ryan. Thank you so much, Ryan. So we have, oh my God, they're wrapped. I love cute little wrapped gifts. That's cute. Look at these. Super cute. I feel like they might be big finish audios. Let's, let's see though. Let's see. Okay, so we have, the first one is The Glorious Revolution, and this is the second Doctor, Jamie and Zoe, as you can see from the, isn't it crazy that I'm done with the second Doctor? It's like hitting me, it's really weird, okay. Um, after years as a companion to the second Doctor, Jamie um, was returned to his own world and his own time and his memories of his travels were erased until now. Oh, I mean, spoilers, but also I'm excited. A visitor from beyond the stars needs to explore Jamie's past and discover what went wrong. What happened in the year 1688 when the TARDIS landed in London and the doctor, Jamie and Zoe were welcomed into the court of King James II. It was the year of the glorious revolution and the birth of a whole new history. Oh, that's so amazing. Oh, wow. So this is really going to focus a lot more on Jamie than like the doctor, I guess. Um, wow. That's amazing. I'm actually really, now I'm, I'm very, very excited. I kind of get excited for any of the big finish ones. So I'm really going to have to, I have so many that you guys have sent me and I don't want to be like, I just don't want to seem rude or whatever if I'm not, but like, I really just, I need to come up with a good system of how to review them and, and how to do them. Okay. So the other one that was sent to me is, um, Dr. Who resistance. Um, and it looks like we have the second doctor and Polly. No Ben? No Ben. Okay. Um, February 1944, France is occupied by, um, no, uh, I mean, uh-oh. <laughs> um, the French Gestapo has an iron grip and the native resistance attempts to overthrow the invaders. On one quiet winter's night, a British plane crashes to the ground, leaving a flying officer desperate to escape via the evasion line sorry i'm <laughs> stumbling um separated from the tardis and ben and jamie 
The doctor and Polly, oh, okay, I see how you did that. I see how you did that. Um, find themselves with enemies on all sides, trapped in one of the darkest times in history. Polly discovers that humanity can be just as dangerous as any threat from outer space. She resolves to make a difference, even if it means leaving the doctor forever. Oh my goodness. Well, you know what? There, I'm starting to get a, f a few of the some some second doctor stories now that I've kind of completed his era. So that's going to be one of those that I'm actually really excited to get into, and maybe review some of these. Um, but really, um, for the big finish video that I did for Doctor Who December, you guys were really really sweet. So I I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, I have one more, and I have to be completely honest with you guys. It is heavy. <laughs> It is, <laughs> it's heavy. <laughs> so let's see. Okay. Oh my, holy shit. I think I just got a glimpse of what it is. Guys. Oh my God. Okay. Hi Jess. If you're opening this before Christmas, I would like to wish you a Merry Christmas. Um, happy new year and all the best for 2021. If you're opening this after Christmas and new year, I hope that your Christmas, I, I love that you guys are starting to really catch on that. Like sometimes it takes me a while to get to these. Um, thank you. Um, I am still thoroughly enjoying your classic who reactions and I'm guessing by the time you open this, you'll have either started watching or about to watch the third doctor's era. I'm genuinely looking forward to revisiting his era with you and seeing it through your eyes. You have some great stories ahead of you. I'm really excited. Before I start to explain what you have in the box before you, apologies into advance, but to quote a certain Amy Pond from Doctor Who, The Big Bang, okay, kid, this is where it gets complicated. This is the third haul I've sent you in under three years. The first haul you opened, P.O. Box Friend Mail, number eight, posted on YouTube. Oh, I love this. Um, second haul you opened in P.O. Box Friend Mail, number 18. This third haul follows directly from the first haul I sent to you. In this haul, there are starting from the top left-hand corner. Okay, so guys, just so you guys know what I'm seeing, which I, I don't even know if I can... Uh, guys... There's a little guide thing, which is, is, is nice, but guys, okay, how do I do this? How do I do this? How do I show this to you? Ugh. Look at that. <laughs> I can't lift it up that long. Huh. I knew when I carried this over here to do this video, I'm like, one of these boxes is so heavy. <laughs> okay. So we have, and I don't think I can read, I'm not going to read the backs to all of these, but man. You know, you guys are really putting on the pressure to figure out how I'm going to do these big finish videos. I mean, I've done one for you guys, and now I feel like, all right, I have to buckle, I have to buckle up. Okay, so first, Doctor Who, the Early Adventures Series 1, Domain of the Ward, the Doctor's Tale, The Bounties of Ceres, Ceres, An Ordinary Life. Then Doctor Who, The Companion Chronicles, Solitaire. This is the only eighth Doctor Big Finish Companion chron Chronicle that I am aware of, featuring a companion you have yet to meet, Charlie Pollard, and a villain you already have, The Celestial Toymaker. Oh, that's cool. Um, number three is all four series of the eighth Doctor and Lucy Miller Adventures. In total, there are 32 CDs in this haul, making up the four series. Holy moly. Uh, for a big finish retrospective, The Further Adventures of Lucy Miller, Volume 1, box set. Following on from the Dark Eyes box set 1 that I sent you in my first haul that you posted on YouTube on the 19th of February. Um... I've included in this haul Dark Eyes box set two, three, and four. Okay, check. Um, following from the Eighth Doctor Time War box. You really want me to get into the Eighth Doctor is what I'm buying from a lot of this, right? Like, <laughs> um, which I do. By the way, I really want to because 
currently in my head. I don't really know where to place the eighth doctor in my like favorites list of the doctors if I can even really do a favorites list, you know what I mean? Um, I mean, we all know who number one is, but like he's hovering somewhere because I actually really enjoyed him in the like TV movie that I watched and the, and the little short minisode, but I, you know, but you don't, I don't have a good perspective on him as I do the other doctors. So I don't really know where he would, he's hovering. He's hovering right now. Um, following, uh, oh, okay. The time war box set number one. Um, and so in this haul, the eighth Doctor Time War box sets two, three, and four got that. And then we have following on from the War Doctor Time War box set I sent you in my first haul that you posted on YouTube. I've included in this haul the War Doctor Time War box sets two, three, and four. Happy listening, Jess. I sincerely hope you enjoy these as much as I have done. And I am genuinely looking forward to your reviews. I presume you'll be listening to these once you have finished the classic series. Also, I have, I have mentioned on previous occasions, this haul and my previous two are to say a huge thank you for all the time, effort, and genuine love that you put into each reaction. They are appreciated more than you will ever know. All the very best, Colin. Colin, thank you so much. I, man, I, <laughs> There are so many. I just, let's just pull like one out and I'll, I'm going to hold the place with my finger so I don't mess up. That. Oh, they're labeled. So I, even if I did, I would. Okay. So this is just one of the ones with the eighth doctor. I mean, there's just, there's so much stories to listen to. I really need to figure this whole big finish thing out. I, I mean... I'm kind of overwhelmed with like how much there is. I mean, I knew there was a lot, but th this is a lot in comparison to everything else, like, or in addition to everything else I have. <sighs> I have my work cut out for me. I really do. Well, thank you. This is absolutely crazy and amazing. And I'm really excited to start getting into these stories and hopefully maybe, um, you know, encouraging you guys to get into these stories as well and, and all of that. I'm actually really, really excited for all of that. You know, it's every, wow, this is all really amazing. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to get some, some work done, but definitely if you liked the big finish, video, um, audio story video that I did, um, please, you know, let me know and, and leave a comment over there or something like that to, to let me know that, that you really like it. Um, I had a couple of, of kind of newer things that I tried this Doctor Who December and that being one of them. Um, and I would love as much feedback as, as I could, but you guys seem to kind of like it, the format and everything that I tried to do. Um, I just need to know how to be slightly more efficient with it because um, that took a that took a bit of work and um, not that I, I don't mind doing it. It's just um, that in addition to everything else I do on my chain, you know, like after a while you, it starts to you, you get overloaded. So I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to do this. But I wow, do I appreciate this and, and all of the gifts today. I really, really do. Um, everything is just so wonderful. I want to let you guys know that I am filming this on the 21st. Um, so just so you guys know, um, I might not, you know, get, you know, to, um, if you sent something and it arrived, unfortunately, the 22nd or on, then I will have to get to that when I come back from my break. This is just when I could film this um, for, you know, this kind of holiday season, I guess. Um, and I know packages are getting delayed and there's all sorts of stuff going on. So, you know, um, I really greatly um, appreciate everything sent to me and I'm so thankful. And this is really... It, it, you guys really don't have to do anything like this. And the fact that some of you do, it just, 
it makes me feel really good and it makes me feel really appreciated and um i just really love that um I love you guys and I am just so thankful that you guys would would take the time to send me anything. Um I I I genuinely am and so appreciative and grateful. So thank you guys so much and I hope that you guys have a happy holiday season. Bye.